and there's all the little tree. Isn't that cute? But wait, there's more. Hey everyone, it's Lisa and welcome to our gray house. I am joined today by Captain. He'll be supervising and making sure that all these crafts go well. We're gonna be making two Christmas trees using these objects. This is a foam cone. I believe I got it at either Joann's or I got it at Hobby Lobby. And yes, I would have used a coupon if it was not on sale. And I don't know if they sell these at the Dollar Tree or not, but if they do, then you can get one there. This, however, for sure is from the Dollar Tree. This is a party hat and it comes in a pack of eight, I believe for a dollar. So if you don't have either of these items and you wanna make today's project, you could probably just get some thick paper or something and make a cone out of it. But I have these projects. I mean, I have these objects and so that's what we're gonna use. I was going to wrap it with this green yarn and I thought, oh, that's gonna look like so cute, <laughs> so cute. Also, it was gonna take me forever because this is really thin yarn. So we're not gonna use that. Instead, we're going to use some of this Dollar Tree nautical rope. And funny thing, <laughs> funny thing, the nautical rope is not all the same because I bought some more nautical rope and this nautical rope is thinner than this one. I believe they're both called decorative nautical rope. They were both called the same thing. But this is a thinner one, so I'm going to use that on the smaller one. And this thicker one, I'm going to use on the foam one. And I think I'm gonna start from the bottom. And what I like to do, I've already cut off one end because it has that plasticky tape stuff on it. So I'm cutting off the end and I like to cut it off kind of at an angle so it's tapered up. So when it lays against everything else I'm laying it against, it's not like it's more gradual in, blends in better. I don't know, it's just what I do. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And I'm just cutting up kind of at a sharp angle because like I said, I really want it to blend in well. And so it kind of, you can't really tell, but I can tell. <laughs> so that's what counts. And I've already done this end, although yeah, it'll be okay. We can work with that. So I'm just gonna spread this out, probably capture Captain's attention, but it's okay. I'm not sure if I wanna start at the top or at the bottom, I don't know. But I think I'm gonna start at the top because when it's done, I'm gonna put a little star on it and the star will cover up any little, you know, if it's not like, it, it's gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start by hot gluing it and I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna put some little dabble do ya. I need to get my little tool. So this is a makeup brush or silicone brush I'm trying to think what you call it. And I use this when I'm working with hot glue so I can push down on the hot glue and I don't burn my fingers. So they sell those at the Dollar Tree, although I've never seen them personally. I just bought mine on Amazon. And of course I'll put a link in the description below in case you want to get one as well. Putting it on there, grabbing my little tool, and I'm just pushing down. Is it not gonna stick to the phone? <laughs> Maybe it's not gonna stick to the phone. Won't that be hilarious? I'm gonna put some more hot glue here and start trying to wrap it around. This craft may be doomed from the beginning, I don't know. I saw a gal do this on Instagram. My daughter, who has a YouTube channel, Kat, I think she calls herself Al, that was hot. She calls herself your gal pal cat on Instagram. My daughter sent me a link to someone who did this exact same kind of, well, not the exact same craft. Did a similar craft and she covered it with yarn, which would be fantastic. But like I said, if I did it with yarn, it would probably take me a long time to do it because the yarn was much thinner. Now I need to make sure, what I'm trying to make sure is that the yarn is pushed up. We're not having any gaps so we're not seeing the foam and just trying to make sure all kind of pushed up and into each other. Since I'm not sure that it's actually going to glue very well to the foam itself, I'm trying to add the hot glue so that it's, I'm gluing the rope not only to the foam, but also to the, the rope itself. Does that make sense? And I keep kind of burning myself, so I'm not really sure why it's not like, why is it so hot still? I don't know. Okay. Now I'm just gonna kind of fast forward and get all this covered up. 
I finished wrapping the foam cone and I think it's looking pretty good so far. I like the kind of rustic primitive look of it and certainly didn't take me near as long as if I had done it with yarn. <laughs> but I kind of want to go back and do one with yarn and I have a couple extra hats because it comes in a pack of eight. So I think what I'm gonna do is buy some wider yarn or like thicker yarn and see how that turns out. But we're gonna be wrapping it with this decorative nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. This is thinner than the one on this one. I don't know why, I don't know if they're changing it up or if I just got a weird batch, I don't know. But I have enough to wrap this, so we're all Gucci. I'm gonna speed up through the process because again, I'm just gluing rope to a party hat. I've covered the cones with the Dollar Tree nautical rope. Now it's time to kind of embellish it. So I've taken a wooden star and I just hot glued a toothpick on the back and we're gonna poke it inside. This one, this one may not be as easy as I thought. I didn't really decide like a part was a front or a back. Oh no, oh dear, here we go. Okay, so that's how that one's looking. Now this one, I don't know. <laughs> Where's the back? Okay, that's the back. So that's the front to you guys. I'm just gonna try to, oh, this one's working a little bit better. And there's my little tree, isn't that cute? But wait, there's more. I bought, where are they? I bought something to put, oh, right next to me. I bought these little tiny pom-poms. They were $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. They're the seven millimeter, 225 pieces. I didn't count up. I'm just gonna trust Hobby Lobby that that's how many they're are in the package but i had my 40 percent off coupon because it was not on sale and i thought i would just put like little dots of glue i don't know how this is going to work because this is real tiny and i don't have i probably should have like a tweezers or something maybe maybe that would help i don't know but i thought i would just put like a little dot of glue and then i would put on these like little pom-poms and just kind of make it look kind of cute you know what i'm saying i'm going to start with a smaller tree and like i said i was just thinking to put a little just a little dot of glue and then pop that on there and just kind of add like little, I guess I think this is gonna make it look like an ornament or something on there, I don't know. I just thought it looked cute or it would look cute. See, it's kind of adding like a little something to it. I'm liking it. And I guess I could have like worried about the placement like making sure it was spread out and but I think I just like this doing it this way where it's just kind of more I don't know more organic in my approach to putting white little pom-poms on a tree and I'm not trying to put too many pom-poms on not really anyway oh it's turning out kind of cute this is how it turned out. I do need to clean up the little glue strings, but I think it looks really super cute and I'm very happy with it. I think I have though a little bit, a, 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 too many pom-poms on this one. So on this one, I think I'm going to do just a little bit less and see how that turns out. And when I said I hadn't really thought about the placement, looking at that one now that's completed, I'm kind of like, yeah, that has a little too many. I was hoping for a little bit simpler look but yeah so let's just kind of keep that in mind when I'm doing this one I'm liking the look of this one just a little bit better because I feel like there's not as many ornaments on there and I think you could totally buy the multicolored pom-poms and make make it like you have you know just like a more colorful look as opposed to this neutral decor type of situation but I'm really digging it so far you know, when I craft, like I think to myself like, oh, I really like how that turned out. And most times my projects turn out as I would hope or like as I would like. Sometimes they don't though. I have an example behind me where I tried to make a 3D tree and it just did not turn out like my vision. It did not turn out like my vision, but sometimes that happens and it's still okay. I think this turned out so stinking cute. It's rustic, it's primitive, it's neutral decor. I just really, I really like it. I think it turned out awesome. Let me know in the comments below if you like it as well. Which one was your favorite? The smaller Dollar Tree, 
party hat cone or the foam cone. I, I think they both turned out really great. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I hope that today's craft inspired you to either create something for yourself or maybe for a friend. These are budget friendly items. Most of the things that I use today are from the Dollar Tree, so you can easily recreate this at home. And again, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.